Hello everyone, welcome to you on Think Future Academy. Today we are going to learn how to create small drop down list in Excel and add other data validation checks. Let us begin now. You can see here one table which I have created. It is acquisition plan template and I want to create here some of the categories as a drop down list. You can see here I mentioned them as a drop down list wherever I am looking for and for that I have created one value list. How to do this one? We will see it. I have chosen four methods to create a drop down list. First of all, we will see a simple selection method. For example, for this category, I am looking for to create a drop down list. I will go to data data validation tool list I will select the list and here I will choose the categories and select the information from here that is all ok and my drop down list has been created. You can see it now. The second method is drag information. Drag information means for example now I am creating one list here and my value list is here ok. Now if you see my last information is direct material and here in my value list I want to add one more which will be only material. material. How I can add because see here if you go to the method 2 the information in the drop down it is not updating, it is the same. How to do this one? It is very easy just come here select the information shift the hold key and move one step, two step anywhere where you want to keep them. Now it is here now and you will see here in method 2 my material option is available here under the consultancy now see here. The third option is keep the extra space. How? To do that one, I will tell you. For example, now I am going to create this information. I am going to have some extra space here. I am creating it extra space and I am removing this information from here, space, empty space. And now what I will do it, data validation tool, list, select my information and as a value list, I will keep this blank information ok ok. Now if I want to add any info the information I will add here material and this one it will appear here in the last you can see it as a material it is appearing here. The fourth matter is automation. How to do this automation we will learn this. This is very critical and important factor now. Here whatever the list I have it, uh, what I am going to do, I will create a table, insert table, ok. Insert table, ok. Now this table I give the name table cat. See, I am giving you one tip now here. If I am using some information, I want to bring it here. See here what it is appearing me. It is called category. And if one column away, if I am going to select the information, it is giving me table cat category. I need this information, not the table one. So better one column away or row away you have to create this one and then come back to method 4. Click here and come to the data validation tool, select list and paste this value here and now I will show you what I am going to do it now. Here in the table just note it down that you will use one indirect formula in direct start bracket 
inverted commas, inverted commas close and bracket close, that is all. Okay. Now, see here now, all information whatever it is there, it is there. Now, I will come back here and here I will add P O. Now, if I will come to method 4, the P O information will be updated automatically. You can see it here now. This is the fourth met method which you can use by using indirect method. I will attach this Excel sheet in my video. You can download from there. Now, I am looking to validate the dates. Here in my procurement plan, I am looking that my dates will be fixed. Nobody can change the format. I am looking that when they will enter, they will make the dates in this range only. So that what I need to do, I will go to data validation tool, dates between, I will select this information and this information. Okay. Now, 1st Jan 2023, it is there, but if I will enter 25, it will not accept, you can see. So, I will copy and paste this information here in this cell as well and that is all it will done. Here I use some formula to calculate from here one drop down list I will create for this one you and I will show you how to do this one as well. And the same methodology I can use it here as well. For example, copy and paste these dates here that estimated contract date when it can be I can mention there this date can be the future date that can be more than this date 31st December 2024 or any date can be a future date. So, I will assign this one that contract start date is this one. So, I need this date and it can be plus Twenty thirty, and the same way I will apply this method here. So, data validation tool between this one and this one. Okay, and the same will be applicable to here now. Now, material type here I have chosen my material types are as well available here. I will create a one for you again data validation, insert table, okay, table material, MAT, okay. Now, as I mentioned you, click away, just copy this information. This is one method and equals to if I will bring it my cursor here, you can see here one arrow has been created. See here now when I am doing it, it one small arrow, downward arrow is created. When I will click it here, you can see it here, the table has been created and I will just copy this information and press escape and I will go back to my sheet now here and I will create my data validation list and this one equals to now again indirect inverted commas bracket started inverted commas inverted commas close bracket close and ok. Now, my this list has been created material type and here I want to use some of the information like uh, what is the status of this one. So, I will create another for you table okay, description, description and equals to copy this information and come back here 
rehabilitation tool, list, choose the list, paste the formula and use in e indirect bracket started inverted commas and inverted commas close bracket close ok and see here now I have used some of the formulas here you can see it will show you automatically changing here this formula. So, this is the data validation for dates and now we are going to do the data validation for this information. Here I want to use the maximum length of the character is 40. So, data validation tool text length from 0 to 40 ok done. So, you can see here it is 36 now and if I will make some more statement it will not allow me you can see it now. So, you it is it will restrict the end user on this number. This is automated number it will be updated later. So, here we can use the different types of techniques for data validation and drop down lists. This is all for today and if you want to know more about it you can uh, have a message to me on my chat box. So, I will create another session for you. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video and before leaving please subscribe to my channel, like and hit the bell icon to get updates when I post a new video. Provide your valuable feedback in comments. Thank you.